A common question that I get is, where are the show notes and where does the transcripts go when folks are using dynamic templates with Elementor in combination with our Seriously Simple Podcasting Elementor templates. Now I have other videos walking through how to set this up. Uh, I'll quickly show you how to set it up here if it's your first time, but definitely check out the other videos which I'll link up for a more detailed uh, tutorial. So quickly, what are dynamic templates? This is only available in Elementor Pro. If you only have Elementor free, <laughs> these features will not exist. So by default, all of Seriously Simple Podcasting podcast posts or custom post types. Uh, they're all located right here under podcasts and all episodes. You can see all of these episodes here. We'll just take a look at an example. I'm using a default generate press theme. Not much styling to it, very basic. Featured image, uh, podcast title, podcast player, and the show notes below it. If I turn on dynamic templates, we'll go to templates, the theme builder, single post, we have this single post template, which we can look at right here. Now this ships for free with Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. We provide these templates as a nice value add if you're looking to style and make your uh, podcast post look a little bit better, but you will need Elementor Pro for this to work. So here's what the template looks like. It's gonna put the player up front and center, download, play a new window, uh, the social share icons or the, the subscription icons to the different podcast distribution points. And it says show notes right here. And I think this is where a lot of folks get tripped up. So let's just go and turn this on. So I'm gonna go into the Elementor theme builder. We'll go to single post. You can see right here, this says podcast single post. So this will be for every podcast. We'll edit the conditions, add condition, and we'll say on all podcast custom post types, enable this theme or this template, I should say. Close that out, save and close. And now let's go back to our website. See that this is the new template that's loaded, <clears throat> excuse me, for this podcast post. Now every single podcast is now getting <clears throat> this Elementor template that we've included, okay? So there's two players there and I'll show you how to clean that up in a second. But you can see that the style has been um, changed, the layout has been changed, and you can edit all of this. So if you wanted this text to be um, white and not so dark, so there's more contrast with a featured image, that's the power of dynamic templates with Elementor. Okay, so big question is, how do we get these show notes here? And what do we do with a transcript? Well, the power of dynamic templates is, when we edit this episode, you're still editing the show notes inside of WordPress proper. So Elementor and our templates are doing all of the work to design it and make it look good. And that's just gonna lay it on top of every single podcast post. And one of the mistakes I see a lot of folks fall into is they go into every single episode and they, and they try to design it from scratch using Elementor. Now you'd have to do that if you're on the free version but if you're on the pro version, that's the power of dynamic templates. Those templates will automatically adjust and style every single one of these when we set those conditions. So there's no special place to put show notes uh, other than editing your post and dropping in your show notes right here in WordPress. It's that simple. Now, a lot of people say, hey, what about transcripts? What should we do with transcripts? Uh, we do have some features coming to Seriously Simple Podcasting Player where there's a way to assign uh, transcripts and make things look a little bit different. But WordPress has, whoops, WordPress has, let me add a block, uh, a lot of Gutenberg blocks for the accordion feature. And that's something that you can do. So I just added an accordion block. Now, this is really dependent on your theme, uh, you know, what other Gutenberg blocks you might be using. If you just add a block and search for um, accordion or expand and contract, that kind of thing, there's plenty of blocks to do this type of thing. So let's just preview it. And you'll see right here, transcripts, I can just boom, expand it like that. I hate saying boom. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, but that's how you can use. You can use Gutenberg 
blocks, search for accordion block. Maybe your theme already has an accordion block. Again, if you just edit the episode and go to add a block, search for the word accordion, like right there, I have accordion item, and that's it right there. I can just paste in my transcript, call it transcripts, call it whatever you want, and then on the front end, the user has the ability to expand and contract it, okay? So that's answering two very common questions. Where do the show notes go? Where do the transcripts go? They go right here. They go right here. They go right in native WordPress when you're using dynamic templates with Elementor Pro. It's the only caveat, Elementor Pro, to do dynamic templates and dynamic themes. We'll look at it one more time. We'll edit. Edit with Elementor. That's the podcast single. Now, remember, like I said, on the front end there, if you wanted to adjust that text to go a little bit darker, text color, it's just by default, it's this color, but we can change it up. Let's just bring it right up to white. Hit update. Now that'll change it for all of the themes. That's the benefit to the theme builder. Go into the theme builder just so I can show you. Uh, single post. You see right down here under the conditions, it's going to load this template on all podcast posts. You don't have to do it manually. You don't have to punch into every single page. It's just gonna say, hey, every time somebody pulls the podcast post up, we're gonna show this template. And that's what I set up. And now remember, I just made that change to white. And you might recall earlier in the video, it was a pretty dark gray. So it wasn't a very good contrast. And there it is. So now it just happens automatically across all single posts. Okay, that's it. That's Elementor Pro Dynamic Templates. Where do my show notes and transcripts go? Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Let me know what else you're doing with Elementor. What other stuff do you need help with with Elementor? Leave me a comment below. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.